The Distro series is a sophisticated and feature-rich measuring tool used by professionals all over the world. But before we get started with the more advanced features of the Distro, we'll cover the basics first. For this tutorial, we'll be using a Distro D330i, which has many of the same buttons and basic functions of the other models, as well as a few specialized features of its own, which won't be shown here but will be demonstrated in the Bluetooth transfer video tutorial. To turn on the Distro, press the red button on the Distro that says On. To turn it off, just press and hold the clear button. Once the disto is turned on, aim the laser and press the red button again to obtain a measurement. After getting the distance, press the red button to measure again. You can erase measurements by pressing the clear button. To add measurements together, take one measurement, press the plus button, and then take the second measurement. You can add as many measurements as you want. When you're done, just press the equal button to add all the measurements together and show the calculations on the display. To subtract one measurement from another, take one measurement, press the minus button, take another measurement, and then press the equal button. Pressing this button will change the reference point of the laser to either the front or rear edge of the disto. In other words, it allows you to choose whether to take the length of the disto into account when measuring. Pressing the button quickly toggles between the two edges. After obtaining a measurement, it returns to the default reference point at the rear edge. By pressing and holding the button, you can set the disto to continually measure from the front edge until it is powered off. To calculate the area of a surface, press the button with the cube on it once and measure the length and width of the surface. The disto will automatically multiply these two values together to get the square footage. To calculate a volume, press the button with the cube twice. Measure the length width, and height, and the volume will be displayed on the screen. To enter Smart Horizontal Mode, press this button. In Smart Horizontal Mode, you can find the lengths of Side 1 and Side 2 by measuring Side 3. Tilting the Disto up and down shows the angle of the tilt on the display. Note that you cannot measure distances with the tilt above 45 degrees in either direction with the Disto D330i. Press the red Disto button to measure Side 3, and the Disto will automatically calculate and show the horizontal side. Side 2. To show all three sides, as well as the angle, press and hold the horizontal mode button. To exit smart horizontal mode, just press the button again. To access the D330i's built-in functions, press the function button. We'll go more in depth with this feature later in the functions tutorial. The timer button allows you to obtain difficult measurements in hard to reach places. After pressing it, you then have 5 seconds to move the disto into position and aim the laser. After 5 seconds, the disto automatically acquires the distance. The timer button also works with smart horizontal mode and the other functions. Just enter the mode that you want and press the timer button. If you have a constant that you use frequently, you can store the value in the disto's memory by measuring a distance and pressing and holding the storage button. You can recall it later by pressing the button once. To clear the memory, just press and hold the clear and storage buttons at the same time. You can also customize some of the options for the disto by pressing and holding the menu button. The first option allows you to change your unit of measurement. You can browse to the options with the plus and minus buttons. Press the menu button once quickly to select an option and move on to the next menu item. To save your changes, press and hold the menu button. Hopefully, you've gained a deeper understanding of how a disto works. Of course, the disto line has many more advanced features that we haven't gone into yet. If you still have questions, be sure to check out the quick start guide and user manual for each disto on the model pages. Until next time!